What's up, everybody? We're back today coming at you in 4K, but this time 60 frames per second because that's what's needed to capture all this freaking review. Awesome. We're going to be freaking going over everything. And with that in mind, safety first because I'm trying to get some more sponsorship deals and they don't like you wearing flip flops. So I got the vest, the hat, the safety rated glasses. Still rocking the flip flops because we're not actually going to be using any of this equipment to show you if it's worth anything because why would I waste my time doing that? Let's get into it. We're going to be going over everything today from tried and true workhorses like that Troy Bill, trusty, reliable greens masters, a drop spreader that I use once every two years, shed queens. Where's part three? I don't know. Probably never going to happen. Landscape blades edgers, string trimmers, blowers, a broken rake because I used it wrong, this stick, oh, what are we going to use that for? There's grass catchers, more grass catchers, spreaders, another one, a pressure washer, oh, and let's not forget this right here, oh yeah, it's the boom sprayer. But first, before we get started, you need to check out this shirt. What does that say? YouTube certified lawn care professional. So you know everything I say in this video is 100% believable. I am an expert because my t-shirt says so. Now let's get into this. First, we're doing the big equipment and we're starting off with my baby, my custom built from components sourced around the globe, boom sprayer. And why is this thing awesome? Well, because it is, because I built it. I didn't rely on someone else to tell me what I wanted. I built what exactly I wanted. I've already done two videos on this. So if you want to learn how to design one, as far as pump capacities and all that goes, there's a video for that. Link is down below. Then if you want to know the electrical, because this is a nice, fairly simple but complex electrical system at the same time. There's a video for that. And then I'm going to be doing a video coming soon on everything I left out from all the questions that have been left in the comments. So before that drops, if there's anything you want to know about that, leave them below in the comments and I will answer them in that video. But this sprayer, is it worth it? Yes. Was it expensive? Not really. I only have about $60 more in that sprayer right there. That one that I'm pointing at, that I'm right next to, than what a Yard Mastery backpack sprayer cost. And mine has three T-Jet nozzles, not one. Oh, do we want to do the Troy Bill or the pressure washer? Pressure washer. It works. Buy it. It's good. It served me well for light duty homeowner purposes. Not needed if you're not a professional, so this one works really well. Buy it. Okay, the Troy Bill. I've had this thing since 2008. You know what year it is now? It's not 2008. The only thing I've had to do with this is change the oil, change the blades, and just now recently, I had to change the cable for this thing. Conclusion, buy it. Next up, we have this Scott's Drop Spreader 1000. It's extremely small, it takes forever to do your yard with it. Did I pay any money for it? No, my father-in-law gave it to me. You wanna know what my review is on this? Buy it. What about this grass catcher? We'll talk about that when we get to the Toro. And oh, I forgot to mention, the Troy Belt comes with a bag. Another reason for you to buy it. Moving on further, let's go to the spreader here. Oh yeah, that custom painted, mm, so yummy spreader. How much did I pay for that? Nothing, I dug it out of a garage, then spent about $175 in parts rebuilding away all the rust. But you wanna know my review on it? Buy it, it's awesome. And then you get the deflector too, buy one of those. Those are expensive. Okay, the last thing that's left now oh, is the Trusty Greens Master Flex 21. What's my review on that is actually, stop buying them so I can get another one without a jacked up inflatable price because that thing only set me back $83 and now they go for almost a thousand in worse condition than what I got it. So stop buying those, please. Holy cow. And then if you do buy them, stop buying all of them and trying to flip them to take advantage of people on the Facebook groups that don't know freaking anything and you're tripling the price on it with doing nothing to them. Don't do it. Stop it. But if you want a real mower, yes, get one. Are they heavy? Yes, they are. Is that a big deal in maneuverability? No, it freaking isn't. And why not? I would love to show you, but I'm wearing flip-flops and I can't for the sake of sponsorships. That's why. But they're not heavy. Look at this. One hand. One. One. Look at that. Oh, it's turning. 
Whoever thinks one of those is heavy and too hard to maneuver and has to resort to some plastic, well, you can't trust them. And you wanna know why? Because they're not wearing this shirt. But now we have trimmers, string trimmers, landscape blades, edging attachments. This rake, you wanna know why the rake's broken and you should buy one? Because I was using it wrong and I was using it to hack down stuff. Real Love Dad's recommendation, buy it. And the last but not least is this right here. We have a one by two furring strip. And why do I have this? Because I've been recently getting a lot of comments and complaints about why do you use gas equipment? Well, I like gas equipment. They're like, well, get a battery equipment. Well, no, you can't do that either because they mine the batteries with lithium. So I've noticed in gardening videos, because I don't have a garden this year because I have a weed problem. You want to know why? Because I wasn't using this. These prevented my weeds. And every gardening video you see with people that have these in their gardens, they don't have weeds. So this has to be the absolute number one weed pre-emergent, but also a post-emergent control. So let's test it out to see if this will replace my still and my ecosystems for trimming and edging. Okay, we're back here now behind the shed. And why does it look like this? Because the same people that were telling me not to use gas, not to use electric, were also saying, let things grow out, be more natural. So this is what we have here. We have a bunch of nature. Now, will this here solve my weed problem? We are going to find out. And this is how. <laughs> No, it didn't. It broke in half. But you want to know what? Buy it anyway, because I was obviously doing something wrong. Further info on this to come in the future. Okay, now you need a spot to store all your stuff. Well, where do you store all that stuff you stored in a shed? Do you buy a shed? Oh, no. You do what I did with the boom sprayer, and you freaking build one yourself. You want to know how? You do it. It's not that hard, and it actually costs less. Now, going back in time when I built this, this was only about $1,400. So, win-win on that, 10 by 12, and you can't leave out the ramp. Now, I know some people, oh, one person in particular has had issues with this ramp. But what does he have to say about this ramp? Well, let's find out. Quatow, just buy a best shed ramp you will ever buy money back not guaranteed just buy it links in the description below so that's it for this wonderful real low dad review-a-thon reviewing every single thing i have and the decision is you buy all of it more importantly i have developed a special link down below in the description that will take you to where you can buy all of this it's going to be the only thing in the description outside of the videos for the equipment I've done and worked on. So building that, replacing the reel on that, part one and two of the never to be seen, part three of the McLean Edger, those will be below. But more importantly, the link below to buy all this stuff will be down there. So with that, it's Mike, real low dad. Reviewed it, I recommend buying it. You don't know how any of it works because I didn't feel like showing you. You all have a good one.